now we'll start the new chapter parallel lines and transverse lines now let's recall the lines in the same plane which do not intersect each other are called parallel lines in this figure line l and the line m are the parallel lines and this is written as line l this is sign for the parallel lines that is the two vertical lines line l is a parallel to line m these are the parallel lines now let's learn what we are learning now next the transversal in figure the line l intersect line m and n in the two distinct point this is the line l it intersect line n and n in the two distinct point a and b line l is transversal of the line m and n okay this is the line l is called the transversal of the line m and n it intersect the two points now next is a, if a line intersect given two lines in the two distinct points then that line is called the transversal of those two lines therefore this is the transversal now next angle made by the transversal in figure due to the transversal there are two distinct points of intersection namely m and n here is a m and n now how many angles are there at each of these points four angles are formed at m the four angles that is 1 2 3 4 these are the four angles are formed hence there are eight angles each all therefore 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight angles are there each of these angles has one arm is on the transversal this is the transversal one arm is the transversal and the other is on the given lines it means line pq and the line rs suppose that if we consider the angle a m p it one arm is on the transversal and the other arm is on the given two lines these angles are grouped in different pairs of angles and that is interesting let us study the pairs of these angles now first pair is a corresponding angles if the arms of the transversal of a pair of angles are in the same direction same direction and the other arm are on the same side of the transversal that is the one arm is on the transversal this is transversal of that angle if we consider the angle a m p and angle m n r that is one arm of that angle in a same direction which is the m a and again this second angle that is a nm which is on the transversal and other arm is on the same side of the transversal that is a mp nr therefore these type of the angles are called the corresponding angle this pair is a corresponding angle again see this one arm is in a same direction on the transversal now this is in upward direction this is in upward direction and other arm is on the line which is on the same side of the transversal therefore angle a m p its corresponding angle is m n r angle a m q its a corresponding angle is m n s as shown by this star next is that is a angle p m n angle r n t it is shown by this small square and again angle q m n and angle s n t it is shown by this small similar size that is a triangle these are the corresponding angles now see this uh, pairs of corresponding angles in the figure that is the angle a m p its a corresponding angle is m n r m n r angle p m n 
P and N, angle R and D, on the same side. Now next is AMQ, AMQ, next is MNS, MNS. Now fourth is QMN, QMN, and S and T, S and T. These are the pairs of corresponding angles. This is the four pairs of corresponding angles. Now next, see interior angles. A pair of angles which are on the same side of the transversal and inside the given lines is called a pairs of interior angles. Now in this figure, that is angle P M N and angle R M N. These are the interior angles. This is the first pair. Second pair, that is angle Q M N and angle M N S. This is the second pair of interior angles. Here is the pair of interior angles in the given figure. That is angle P M N and angle M N R. Angle Q M N. Angle M N S. This is the second pair. Now next is alternate angles. A pair of angles which are on the opposite side of the transversal and their arms are on the transversal show the opposite direction is called a pair of alternate angles. In figure, there are two pairs of interior alternate angles and the two pairs of exterior alternate angles. Now we will see the first interior alternate angle. That is first pair is angle P M N and its corresponding pair is that is M N S P M N. Next is M N S and next is second pair is angle Q M N and angle M N R. This is the second pair. These are the interior alternate angles. Now next is exterior alternate angles. That is first pair is angle A M P and angle S N T. Angle A M Q and angle R N T. This is the pair of exterior alternate angles. Now, we will see the practice set 2.1. In the adjoining figure, each angle is shown by a letter. Fill in the boxes with the help of the figure. Now, see this here. These are the two lines and here is the transversal. Now, first is corresponding angles. Angle P corresponds to angle W. Angle P corresponds to angle W. Next is a Q corresponds to X. Q corresponds to X. What is next? R. R corresponds to Y. Here is a R corresponds to Y. And S. S corresponds to Z. These are the corresponding angles. This is. Now the, the next is interior angles. S, this is S corresponds to interior, sorry, interior alternate angles. That is a S corresponds to X, S corresponds to X and the next pair is, that is a W corresponds to R. Here is a W corresponds to R. Again, we can see this here. These are the I can summarize this from this figure. That is corresponding angle P W S angle S angle Z angle Q angle X angle R angle Y. These are the corresponding angles. Interior angles angle S angle W angle R angle X. Alternate angles interior alternate angles angle S angle X angle R angle W W. 
external alternate angles angle p angle y angle q angle z now let's see the next question observe the angles shown in the figure and write the following pairs of angles now first we see this here these are the two lines and this is the transversal interior alternate angle that is angle c and angle e this is the interior alternate angle first pair second is b angle b angle h angle b angle h angle c angle e this is the interior alternate angle next is corresponding angles corresponding angle first is angle a angle e next is angle b angle f on the same side of the transverse next is angle d angle h this is angle d angle c angle g angle c angle g now next is interior angles that is angle c angle h angle b angle e and in this way we have completed the practice set 2.1 now we will see in the next video till then goodbye